This is your ultimate guide to sophisticated storage. If you've ever used sophisticated backpacks, well, this is very similar, but for storage. The most simple thing you can do is upgrade your chests. This, of course, is a basic Minecraft chest. But what we can then do is upgrade it to a basic version of the sophisticated storage one with just some sticks and a redstone um, torch. So I right click it with that. You will need two of them if you're using a double chest. And then what I can do is right click and you can see there's an upgrade slot and some settings. I can save the settings to slot one. Um, and what that will do is I can then load them so I can load them from chest to chest. Um, and I can export these to a file name, like if you want to move them to different mod packs, etc. I can go item display settings. Do I want to rotate? And I want to toggle colors for the items. I can also say about slot memory. Allow selecting slots that remember their contents and only allow matching stacks in them. For example, if I put in oak logs... I can just drag it from just enough items into here and it will only allow oak logs in that slot. I can select all slots, unselect all slots, and I can ignore um, the MBT data, which is a bit more complex. Then we have sorting, allow selecting slots that are ignored by sorting. So I can say, right, I don't want to sort these three here. So I can say select all slots or unselect all slots, and I can choose a color. What I can then do is click here with left click to say don't sort these slots, just leave them as they are, or you know, like drag and right click to um, disable them. We also have storage settings, where we can shift click into inventory first. If you shift click from storage inventory, it'll first try to put that stack in the inventory and only then into an open tab. Um, keep the tab on. And we can also search if we want. We can click this button here to search. That's the search bar I just mentioned, so if you can't find your stuff. And when I show you the storage controller, where we get much bigger ones, it's going to get a lot more interesting. And we can sort by name, by mod, by how many we've got. So if I put in, you know, just one, um, it's going to sort them by count, for example, which would be the logs and then the lapis. I can transfer matching to storage. So it's just going to transfer the lapis because it's matching that, but everything else isn't. And I can transfer matching to inventory, meaning again, the lapis is going to come to my inventory because it matches what is in my inventory. It's already in my inventory, so it's going to take it. Now, where it gets interesting is that we've obviously upgraded this to a basic one, but we can then do a basic to copper upgrade, which will then add this copper accent to the chest, but it's a lot bigger. We can then do... Um, well, what you can actually do is you can go basic to iron, basic to gold, but you can also do then copper to iron or copper to gold. So an iron one looks like this with two upgrade slots. We can then do iron to gold, which looks this big with three upgrade slots. And then gold to diamond, a lot bigger, four upgrade slots, and diamond to neverite with five upgrade slots. And of course, a very big inventory. But what if we want to add more than one? Well, the mod does allow it with these things here, the storage controller. This is where things get a bit more complex. A storage controller will connect all inventories that it's touching within a 15 block radius, meaning these two oak chests and this one at the back here will be connected automatically to the storage controller. But if you're having issues, you can always link them. As you can see, I've linked these all together here. So what I'm going to do is just start a new one, just make it a bit easier for you to follow. So storage controller, and then oak chest, oak chest, oak chest. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my storage tool, as you can see here. And if I press shift, so sneak, and then I scroll with my mouse wheel, can you see I'm going through different options? I'm going to explain what they all do in a second. But first, I'm going to explain locking and unlocking. If I go into this chest here and put in 64 lapis, and then if I go um, oak logs into that one, and then I'm on unlocking, unlo locking, unlocking. So again, shift and mouse wheel to go to locking, unlocking. And I right click these chests. Can you see here, there's a little, um, a little uh, padlock. What that means is that through the storage controller, etc., I've locked the contents of this. This chest will only accept lapis. This one will only accept oak logs. But how do we input into this um, network of storage? Well, we have a storage I.O. I.O. standing for Import Output. 
And then what you can also do is add a storage input or a storage um, output. The input will only allow you to input through there. The output will only allow you to output through it. So what we can do is say, um, I'm just going to use a storage IO. I'm going to put hook that up next to it. And you can see when I hover over it, you can see at the top of the screen what is in there. I'm using the mod called Jade to show me this items in there, by the way. I can add a hopper, or you can pipe in with mechanism pipes or any pipes you like. And then when I try and put in my chests, can you see they're going down? And what's, going, what's happening is the, the input from the hopper is going into the network. But where are they going? Well, it's going into the chest at the end here because we've locked these storages, meaning only oak logs and lapis can go in here. So if I then take a stack of lapis, what we'll see, we've just you know, we've seen that, what we'll see is that the lapis is automatically going into this chest because that's the first available one, and obviously it is locked. Now, what if you wanted to do a chest over here? Well, we can do that. Because remember, the storage controller will only link storages that are connected to it, like these three, up to 15 blocks away. But this one here, of course, is actually not touching it. What we can use for that is something called a storage link. So this is that here, storage link. I can shift click it or just, well, yeah, I can, yeah, I shift click it <laughs> onto the chest, get my storage tool, and I'm going to scroll through to linking to controller. So I right click this controller and I right click that link. And as you can see, those two are linked. If I then scroll through to locking and just lock that chest, I'm locking it for the reason of I want to show you specifically a specific item will go in there. I'm going to put in there puffer fish. <laughs> when I then put the puffer fish in here, well, they might go into here. So let's lock that as well. Just I'm obviously you don't have to lock them, but I want to show you how it works. As you can see, the puffer fish are going and they're going into this chest. But if I didn't have the link on here, um, so what I could do. Like, let's say for some reason these weren't linking. I could right click these. Oh, it's locking. Um, where is it? Mm -mm -mm. I could right click and then right click to link them. Um, but they must be touching the controller. If you want to do items or chests that are not touching the controller, like this one isn't touching it, but it is touching it by touching this one, by touching this one, by touching that one. Up to 15 blocks away, that'll work. You cannot go further than 15 blocks away. You also can't go further than 15 blocks away when using the storage link. This chest must still be in a 15 block radius of this storage controller. But that's how we use the import outports and controllers, etc. You can't access the controller. Um, you kind of do have to use a hopper, like an input, output, etc. Um, things like that. But it's still really useful. So let's just go through the other options on here. So when we scroll, it says showing, hiding, fill levels. So that's limited to barrels only, and it's going to toggle the display of how full each slot is. Like a limited one here, this is a barrel that can have four slots. The reason it's purple, I'm going to show you shortly, because you can customize these. Then we have showing hiding upgrades. That is going to toggle the visibility of upgrades in a storage blocks upgrade slots. Like if I go into this chest here and I add a crafting upgrade, which adds a crafting grid in here. Oh, my goodness. As you can see, when I am on showing hiding upgrades, can you see down there we've got the little um, icon and then there's an X on there to show there's no upgrades on. Then we have showing hiding tiers. That's going to show you how, um, oh, so sorry, one thing, but you need to, um, yeah, showing hiding tiers. Um, this will talk of the visibility of the storage block tiers, allowing higher block tiers to appear as base tier blocks. Then we have um, showing hiding locks. So, you know, that's going to show or hide the locks on here um, and the counts of items in there and locking. So with the barrels, there is quite a lot of options. You can just make, you know, normal barrels like this. And then you can also get, you know, copper barrels and iron barrels, etc. But what you can also make is, if I could find them, like these ones, limited ones. And basically the way this works is you kind of make it like this. Like you can have three slots, 10 times base stock size multiplier. So that's a, that's a limited birch barrel free. So it will have um, some slots like that one big slot and two little slots or you can have four slots like that and you can input into the barrel slots you know and have four different items in one barrel 
Now what we can also do is go to the decoration table um, and put a barrel in this slot here. And if you want to see the sides, so hover over the side. If you want to hear, uh, hover over the top, hover over here. Just hover your mouse over and it will show you the sides, etc. And what we can do here is add red, green, and blue dye. And then we can change the main tint, let's say to yellow. And then we can change the accent tint to say lime green, which is, looks hideous. And then we can take it out and you have successfully customized your hideous and heinous limited copper barrel full. If you're enjoying this video, by the way, please do um, subscribe. Check out our Patreon in the description. And you can also uh, join our player servers. Patreons do get access to a VIP server. And we have loads of other servers that you can play. ATM, Prominence, etc., etc. Um, all available um, in our Discord. I think the only thing at this point we haven't really gone through is the upgrades. Number one, the pickup upgrade. This is going to pick up items that come into contact with the storage block and match the filter in there. So let's have a look, shall we? Um, I'm going to go where's my diamond chest because that's going to be the easiest one to show you in. The never right one, even. When I add the upgrade in, you can see there's an on off button. I can toggle this upgrade on or off. Maybe right now I don't want it to collecting items that touch it, but I can turn it on if I do. Pickup upgrade over here is a filter block match the storage contents so it's only going to pick up items like if we have oak logs whereas like if i drop that on there it's not going to collect it otherwise i can say allow only allow the items in here if you have it on allow but there's nothing in here then it will blacklist everything else whereas block will block everything in here and if it's blank it will allow everything sorry i hit my mic um meaning it'll allow this barrel to come in you see see it suddenly popped in when i put it on block um, so that's how the pickup upgrade works. There is an advanced one as well, which means you can match the items, match the mod, for example. I could say, you know, if there's a mod, um, like if it's a sophisticated storage item in there, it's only going to match sophisticated storage mods items. Ignore durability or match durability if you want gear and, and weapons, etc. to go in there and things like that. We have then got the filter upgrade, filters items piped in or out of the storage, the magnet upgrade. It's going to, um, you know, it's basically like a pickup one, but it teleports items around the storage directly into it rather than only things that touch it. The advanced one has a bigger range and you can do bigger filters just like with the pickup upgrade. The advanced feeding one. So this is going to feed the player a food item from the storage's inventory. The advanced compacting upgrade and compacting upgrade basically will compact items into their compressed variants, like a 2x2 two two and 3x3 three three cobblestone, for example. The void upgrade will void stuff you put in its filter, similar to like, you know, the filters in here, but it will void them. The smelting upgrade um, is really cool. It adds the smelting option where you can actually smelt things. Auto smelting. Um, Smoking as well, same thing. Blasting, same thing, pretty much. Crafting upgrade. I think I showed you this earlier, but it adds a, a crafting table in here. Um, stone cutter adds a stone cutter tab. And then we have the stack upgrade. It multiplies the number of stacks that can fit in a slot by three. So rather than only having one stack of oak logs, I could fit three stacks of oak logs. So that goes up to um, Omega, which is 2147, which is basically the, it's the um, binary limit. Which is 2 billion... 147 million, 423,647. Jukebox upgrade adds music into it. The pump pumps fluids between tank upgrade and adjacent blocks. So you can have a tank next to it. Um, and you can pump it in. You can say input or output the fluids, interact with the world, um, or a fluid container in your hand. We've got the infinity upgrade, but that's admin only. I think I've missed a few here. Um, there's experience pump one as well, which pumps experience between the tank. The compression one will automatically make it like two by two, etc. Like on cobblestone, like we mentioned. The hopper upgrade will pull items from the block on top or push them to the block below. Um, and then we've got survival infinity upgrade. Oh, that's like the infinity upgrade. But if the mod pack developer decides to add a recipe for it, they can. By default, it's still like a creative item. And the alchemy upgrade automatically uses potions, food of effects, or milk buckets. That's very interesting. Um... There we go. And that is all the upgrades. And that is everything you pretty much need to know about the sophisticated storage mod. It's quite simple. 
I do wish it had a few extra things like interfaces um, to interface into it, like applied logistics or refined storage does. If you're looking for something like that, I would recommend Tom's store. Is it Tom's storage? I have a video for it on my channel. Um, yeah, and if you want to get a simple mod for like transferring storage across dimensions, etc., simply, I would use the Tesseract mod. That's a really good one um, as well for keeping things simple. But there we go. That is the sophisticated storage mod.